A great way to practice your Chinese pronunciation, and especially tones, is by learning new words to practice different sound combinations. Today, let's learn some geography while also practicing our tones. If you've been to China, you'll know that there's much more to it than the big cities like Shanghai and Guangzhou. The countryside is beautiful, and the mountains are absolutely incredible. If you're a hiking fan, you need to check out the mountains we'll talk about in this video. As always, we're aiming for accuracy here, and we'll talk about tones throughout the video. So if you need to refresh your memory, go check out my video on the four tones of Mandarin Chinese, as well as the video focused on the third tone, since it's a tricky one. Okay. Today we'll talk about China's five great mountains, also known as Wu Yue. Wu is five, and Yue means a high mountain. If you've learned some characters before, you might recognize the two components of this character: Qiu Hill and Shen Mountain. Together we get Yue, and we usually call these five mountains as Wu Yue. Wu Yue. Layer one. The first is Taishan Mount Tai in Shandong. In Taishan, the first character Tai is a fourth tone, and Shan, which we'll use many times today, is a first tone. Together, they are read as Taishan. Taishan. Layer two. The second is Huashan in Shanxi Province, not to be confused with Shanxi Province. Shanxi. Shanxi. Shanxi, Shanxi. So back to Huashan. Right away, some of you might think, "Hey, I've learned this character before, and it's pronounced Hua." And you're right. It's usually read as Hua, like in Zhongfa Renmin Gongshuo, the People's Republic of China. But when it's used to refer to the mountain Mount Hua, or used as someone's last name, it is read as a fourth tone. Wow. That's right. Yet another of those doyins or polyphonic characters. So we say Hua Shan, Hua Shan. Layer three. The third is Heng Shan, Mount Heng in Hunan. Heng is a second tone, so be sure to rise up high enough to meet the first tone. Shan, Heng Shan, Heng Shan. Layer four. Now moving on to the fourth mountain. Heng Shan, Mount Heng in Shanxi. Yes, that's right, another Mount Heng with a second tone as well, but with a different character. This is a great example of why characters are so important. Heng Shan sounds the same as Heng Shan, but it's written differently. If you got the previous one, you should be able to say this one without any problem. Heng Shan, Heng Shan. Also, don't forget that this one is in Shanxi. Not Shanxi. Layer five. Finally, the fifth one is Songshan in Henan. Song is a first tone, so it should be at the same height as Shan that follows. Songshan, Songshan. This is a pretty cool character because it's built with Shan mountain and Ga tall. So you can remember how to write this one by remembering that it's a tall mountain. Ga. Plus Shan gives you Song, Song Shan. Well, that's it for the five great mountains of China, or Wu Yue. Have you been to any of them? Tell me about your Chinese hiking stories or plans in the comment section. Also, if you like these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.